InDesign CS 5.5 is pitched at all of our designers who know that not only do they need to get out to print, but they need to get out to electronic formats, both EPUB and rich interactive uh, magazines. We're able to do that now by making it easier to build structure in a file. And we do that through the articles panel. Previously, you had to worry about XML structure because going out to EPUB required that all of this text, image, and graphics is one continuous text stream. But of course, the layout, this is in a separate frame, and these are separate frames, and this is a separate frame. So we have two things to make it easier. I want this box, actually, let's go down here. I want these two images to be anchored objects, to, to be part of the text run after this word park. And if you've ever done anchored objects in InDesign, you know how hard that is. You've got to cut with one tool, paste with another, then work with other tools. Now we have this little tiny blue square, and if I want this to be an anchored object, I pick it up and I drag and point to where I want it to anchor, and in the structure of the document, this image is now in that point. And we won't see that because this is the layout we're looking at, but when we export to EPUB, this text will happen. This text will be read first, then the images will appear, and then this text, without having to mess around with the layout. In the same way, the articles panel allows me to decide that this object, or everything on this page, are actually parts of, a, of an article. So what I'm going to call this is the Old Town article. And you'll notice that as I add elements to this article, the layout doesn't change, because that's the point. We're not changing the layout, but we're changing the structure of this document, so that when I export this page, I get an EPUB file that renders from top to bottom as a continuous string of text. So now when I hit export here, and I just put this on the desktop, EPUB is now a full featured um, member of the export dialog box. And the reason I've expanded this is to show you that in EPUB, there's a lot more uh, features uh, to make it uh, a valid uh, XML file that easily enables InDesign users to generate EPUBs co uh, correctly and simply. I'm going to rasterize the first page, um, I'm going to use cover page. One of the other things that you'll see um, we can do is that treat the ordering the same as the articles panel, and we are also, whilst that's rendered out, so that's quickly now, we're also able to do something that's been in a queue, um, that's been asked for for a long time, and that is when we're talking about EPUB, we want to be able to map paragraphs to styles. So here in the EPUB, I, I'm able to do the paragraph style options, say that in InDesign CS5, all of the, all of the paragraph styles just came out as slash P's, which was terribly bad at screen reader because they didn't, they didn't know whether it was a headline or something or whatever. Now we're able to automatically assign a EPUB and HTML tag to my paragraph style option. And this is part of a template that my layout designer doesn't even know this happens. It just applies to automatically. And when I export it out as HTML or EPUB, this first paragraph style is automatically tagged with the HTML tag, or any tag I want because I can write my own in. So what that means is it's very quick to be able to take my InDesign file, write it out to EPUB, and then if I wish, load it onto a device. So here on my desktop is the EPUB file, and what I will do is simply load iTunes and plug in my iPad, and I'll drag the EPUB file over to iBooks. Now, just to let you know, here you can see on screen iBooks, I'm using my handheld camera here, nothing in the iBooks uh, application. So how to get it onto iBooks, I simply, as you saw me, drag and drop the EPUB file, which a minute ago was an InDesign file, onto my iPad. It now copies it. It will appear in books, okay? Neighborhood guide there. And so what I'll do is go here, and you see it's now popped up, neighborhood guide in iBooks. It's syncing that, <laughs> and it's going to sync the whole thing. There we go. And so now it's synced, okay? So if I need to, need to go through an editing pass, okay? Let's go back to iTunes, delete that, okay, remove it, and let's just quickly go back to InDesign, and so that you can see it as, a, as a, uh, uh, an obvious example, what I'll do is just on the front page, I will just enter some text, we'll call this Creative Suite 
5.5, all right, scale it up, probably not that, 5.5, scale it up, escape, make it nice font size, and we'll fill that with background, background type so you can see it, and align that centered, centered, okay, there we are, rotate that now, new feature, don't have to worry about it. do that, okay. And what I'm going to do is the same thing, export that out as an EPUB again, replace that existing one, hit save. This is how quick and easy that process is. Remember, rasterize first page, click OK. That's now provided an EPUB file on the desktop for me. Okay, that's the new one there. Go back to iTunes, okay, drag and drop it onto books. And when that comes back in, I'll go to the camera again. All right and it will just load that up. There it is there, neighborhood guide with the new piece of text on top of that. Need to focus that. And as I touch it, you can see it opens up and it's the EPUB. So it's that easy to publish text content authoring. We'll go through and see that page. And I've got the point size and there's those two pictures. Remember I put those two images so it would run between that piece of text? That's where they now appear. And depending upon what point size, they always stay in that point there. It is that easy to publish EPUB. But EPUB doesn't have layout, and that's where you need something richer, which is the digital publishing suite.